Okay. Cayucas, 805 webcams. Let's get started. Take a look at the kind of day it was in Cayucas. Plenty of marine cloud cover. However, the influence has really been limited to the immediate beach line and not far into the coastal valleys. Gibraltar peak time lapse. Take a look at the marine layer out in the distance over the water. Did clear out rather nicely today. Beautiful shot there. Fall began today at 1220, and that means the day and night was roughly equal, and the days get shorter from here. What kind of day was it? In Cuyama, 94 today, 69 in Lompo, Goleta, 76, 84 Santa Barbara, 73 in Santa Maria, Tascadero, 93, 60 in Morro Bay. Paso Robles 98, 90s an average daytime high, so still quite a bit above average. 68, Pismo Beach, 83, San Luis Obispo. We did lose a couple of degrees to generalize in terms of where we are at, and I think more of that kind of change is on the way. Seven day forecast at the bottom of your screen, 10 day forecast, hourly forecast, satellite radar, and more all available for free on my KSBY microclimate weather app. 70, Santa Barbara right now, looking at the Mesa and the Riviera, beautiful. San Luis Obispo, 68, Northwest winds 19 miles per hour, dew point 56. Avila Beach, another 805 webcam. By the way, check them out. They're our partner for these amazing cameras. 67, 29 mile per hour breeze in the area right now. You can see the low cloud deck moving into the coastal valleys already. So it's going to be a rather cool evening on the way. Here's what's going on. We've got water temperatures right around 60 degrees. So when you get the onshore flow, you definitely get the benefit there of the cooling air. Now, the interior valley is still going to make a run into the mid 90s tomorrow. Again, my forecast is just a very small step down. 79 by 11 o'clock in the morning, really pretty pleasant for the interior valleys. Coastal valleys, early low clouds, and then kind of a cloud sun mix. We're going to see some high clouds across the area as well. Temperature still going to get into the mid to upper 70s. The west facing beaches, early and late marine layer with just a cloud sun mix in the afternoon, mid 60s. Again, just slightly cooler than today in South Coast temperatures. Again, just slightly cooler. We're looking at numbers into the middle 70s. OK, let's talk a little bit about what could happen in this upcoming forecast. I'll be honest with you, models are not in great agreement right now, but here's what one is saying. We've got this little disturbance right down here to the south. It's going to linger and kind of wobble along the California and Arizona border. I don't think we get in on any of this activity here. Now, what's interesting beyond that, now we get into the weekend, there's a cold front right in here, starts marching toward Northern California and the Pacific Northwest rain and the front starting to work through San Francisco early next week. I don't think it does much here. Maybe deepens the marine layer could see some mist and drizzle. But as we get into say Wednesday, Thursday, now we watch another front marching this direction and also underneath all of this, it's possible we could see yet one more push of subtropical moisture that could feed maybe a shower or two. So for Thursday, 94. Pass Robles, 78 San Luis, 73 Santa Maria, 70 Lompoc, and 77 in Santa Barbara. Overnight lows generally in the 50s. 90 at Tascadero, 95 San Miguel. Moving a little further south, five cities, Pismo Beach, 65, 72 Napomo, 91 California Valley. Santinez Valley temperatures near 90. Again, we're just making a little slide, and you'll see that right there on the seven day forecast. But when you add it all up across seven days, up to 10 degrees of cooling a little less at coastal environments and more tonight at six. Richard, Nina, back to you. All right, Dave, thank you.